By way of celebrating the 80 years of Erna Lowe running ski holidays to the Alps, I'm going to attempt to ski on some vintage skis with a good friend of mine who has an encyclopedic knowledge of ski history, Peter Hardy. Now, Peter, what are the age ranges of the skis well, we they, have? They range from about 1900 up to, we've got some really modern ones of 1960 there. So this is spanning the whole era of Erna Lowe when she first started. And these are some of the these oldest These are some ones. of the oldest skis we've got, and they're around about 1900, and we can tell that because they haven't got any form of metal edge on them at all. So if you hit a patch of ice, you've got a problem. But of course, there were no piece patches then, you were just deep, skiing in deep snow. And uh, as a binding, you've got a very, very, very simple, what we call a brake leg binding, because once you're in there, it's in, it's not going to come out. This is long before the invention of safety bindings. The boot was a very simple thing, a hobnail boot that you'd have worn on the farm around here. You jam it in there, Tighten then, the clip, and away you go. And uh, it's uh, quite a difficult skiing technique. And then we move on to uh, uh, really the first metal ski which came in, which was around about 1960, late 1950s. And that uh, had a much more sophisticated binding on it. It's sprung both ways. So you can actually, right. yeah, actually yeah, 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 right. The boot will come out of that. Well. Put that in there, jam that up. There you go. The right. sideways release and the forward release now began to work right. because they put some bit more sophisticated stuff in there, a bit of better spring. Right. Okay. So uh, which, which skis do you think that I should ski on? Well, I think you should go for the oldest and the earliest and the most difficult, the ones with no edges. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Luckily, we've had some fresh snow uh, up here. And, uh, but, yeah, but it's, it's going to be skiing Telemark style. It's going to be skiing Telemark style and uh, stick in the deep stuff because once you get onto any form of piece of stuff, there's, uh, there's no grip at all. Right. Yeah. Okay, I'm looking forward to it. Let's go skiing. Let's go. Right, okay, well. So let's, uh, let's give it a try. I'm going to try and Come snow on, plow. Try and snow plow down here, I think. <laughs> Off we go. <laughs> It's like being a beginner, complete beginner. A very strange sensation. Well, Peter, thank you for lending me the skis. It's been a wonderful experience and I think a great way of uh, celebrating what uh, Erna Lode has done for the sport. Well, we've had a great morning. I thought you skied really well. I find it really difficult to ski on those old skis. It was challenging. Uh, but you're going to tell me now that um, Erna invented apres ski, aren't you? Absolutely. Uh, in the 1930s, when she used to take these groups to Austria, they, we have letters showing that they had a, the most amazing time after skiing as well. And uh, I think they had to make their own entertainment. They don't exactly any nightclubs or anything. But uh, they had a good time after skiing. It wasn't just the skiing, it was the whole experience of being on the mountain. And uh, she definitely was one of the great pioneers of skiing of the 20th century. Well, I think uh, we have an awful lot to be thankful for. So um, cheers to uh, Erna Lowe. Cheers to Erna Lowe.